What's going on y'all? Today we're going to talk about some of the top mistakes that people make when using live shrimp. Now, live shrimp is easily the most popular bait used uh, fishing saltwater, inshore fishing, and with that, a lot of people are making simple mistakes when using that live shrimp. We're gonna talk about those mistakes here, and then we're gonna take some shrimp out, try to catch some fish. Y'all stay tuned, let's get after it. All right, so we got some live shrimp right here. And the first mistake that I see a ton of people doing is whenever they're rigging up their live shrimp, they're using a jig head, putting it on that shrimp, rigging it through the back like that, hooking it and dropping it down. You should never rig a jig head up to a live shrimp. It completely defeats the purpose of even using a live shrimp because when that live shrimp goes down in the water, we need that live shrimp to look like it's a live shrimp. We need it flicking and running through the water. If a predator comes near that shrimp, we're gonna need the shrimp to flick away from that bait. If you got a weight right there on its tail, he's not gonna be able to power that tail through to get away from that fish and it's just not gonna look that natural in the water. The whole point of using live bait is so you have a natural presentation that makes it look natural for those redfish, speckled trout, flounder, whatever you're targeting to eat that shrimp. When you put that jig head on there, completely defeats the purpose. So the next mistake that I see people doing, and I really see this probably more than anything else, is as they're using that live shrimp, um, fish are biting the head off or they're biting the tail off. Basically the opposite end that the hook is, the fish are biting off the end of the other side of the shrimp. And then so what people end up doing is saying, well, maybe if I put my hook right dead in the middle of my shrimp, that's gonna be better, right? That is absolute, couldn't be further from the truth. Those fish are still gonna peck your tails and the head off of your shrimp. And the reason being, is because you're fishing around a lot of bait fish. The fish that are doing that are pinfish, croakers, um, things of that nature. Something to remember is that game fish, speckled trout, redfish, flounder, um, bigger fish like that, do not bite half of your shrimp off. They're gonna take it in one swift motion and gone. So if you're having fish that are taking uh, half of your bait and you know this that and the other uh, you might need to move to a different location because that is not anything uh that a redfish flounder speckled trout or really anything that's a big fish is going to do big fish don't play with their food they take it in one bite and they run with it so if you're getting bit off um and just having your shrimp picked to pieces it's because you're around a lot of bait fish with that being said when you're hooking your shrimp the only two ways I would say that you need to hook your shrimp is directly through the horn, right there where the horn meets the head. If you put that hook in right there, that is gonna give you the most natural presentation because it's gonna allow that shrimp to still flick through the water. And as that redfish or whatever comes up and eats, it's gonna take the whole thing and it's gonna get the hook right there. That is where I hook my shrimp 99% of the time. The only other place I would say that it's okay to hook your shrimp is right there in the tail. There's another horn right there. It's a little bit of a softer horn, so you might lose more bait doing it right there. But if you wanted to, you hooked it right there on the edge of that horn, that would still give you a natural presentation with your shrimp. Those are the only two ways that I would say you should be hooking your live shrimp. All right, so the third and final mistake that I see a lot of people make is that they're using hooks and tackle that is way too big for these shrimp. Um, a lot of people will pick the size of their hook based on the size of the fish that they wanna catch, which is kind of the opposite of what you should be doing. You should pick the size of the hook based on the bait that you're using, right? Right here, I have a two-aught kale hook is a great hook for speckled trout, but only when I'm using live croaker, right? If I put this hook in on this shrimp right here, that's just way too much hook 
for that bait. It's extra weight on the bait, not making it look as natural. You got a better chance of your predator fish uh, that you're targeting, making it out. You're also making a bigger incision in the horn of that head uh, and your bait might not last as long. Uh, if you downsize to, let's say, a, a number one or number two size hook, your hookup ratio is gonna be better, in my opinion. Your bait's gonna last longer, it's gonna look more natural. Uh, if you're out there using live shrimp, I would use a number one or a number two size hook. Not a one aught, not a two aught, but a number one or a number two, and those are the perfect sizes uh, for live shrimp, in my opinion. But those are the top three mistakes that I see a lot of people out there making. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rig up some live shrimp, drop it around some structure, see if we can pick up a fish real quick. All right, so we got this little piece of structure right here. That's what we're gonna be dropping down, seeing if we can pick something up. We have a size number one Gamakatsu octopus hook right here. Just got a couple of split shot weights to get it down. We're in about 20 foot of water right here current doesn't feel like it's moving too fast but just like stated before we're going to take that hook put it right there on the edge where the horn meets the head that's going to cause my shrimp to flick real naturally we're going to drop it around this structure see if we can pick up a fish there my shrimp was running from something there he is Come on. Pulling on it, pulling on it. There he is, fish on. And it is a tiny mangrove snapper. So, all right, there it is. Went out here, showed y'all a couple of live bait mistakes that people make, rigged up some live bait, I know it is a small fish, but nevertheless a fun fish to catch. These guys taste amazing, but there it is. Little mangrove snapper. Just wanted to show y'all real quick, rigging up some live bait and a couple of mistakes that I see a ton of people make. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. If this video gets to 900 likes, I'm gonna come out here and show y'all five different ways to rig up live shrimp in all sorts of different situations. So get this video to 900 likes and we'll put that out. Comment if y'all have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.